the war in Ukraine, inflation, COVID-19, all were covered during President Joe Biden's 2022 State of the Union address. But there was one topic that wasn't in Biden's speech that got all of Twitter talking. What is it? Keep watching to find out. Going into the State of the Union address on March 1, 2022, all eyes were on President Joe Biden as this was his first such speech. With all of the issues going on in the world right now, especially the conflict in Ukraine, the president had a lot to talk about. President Biden spent a majority of his time discussing the Russian invasion, stating that he's planning on holding Russian President Vladimir Putin responsible. For choking Russia's access to technology that will sap its economic strength and weaken its military. For the first time, President Biden also confirmed the fact that United States airspace will be closed off to the country. I'm announcing that we will join our allies in closing off American airspace to all Russian flights. The president also addressed domestic issues during his State of the Union address. Biden spoke about the economy and inflation while praising his administration's efforts to create record job gains and economic growth. The president touched on several aspects of his Build Back Better agenda, including efforts related to childcare, the minimum wage, and climate change. He also discussed the COVID-19 pandemic, stating that in coming weeks, more free tests will be available for American citizens to receive through the mail. His limited test rollouts were faced with criticism when he launched the initiative in January. However, while President Biden covered many topics that Americans are concerned about, his presence at the podium had Twitter asking one specific question. Behind President Joe Biden at the State of the Union address sat Vice President Kamala Harris and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. It's no secret that both women are supportive of him, with President Biden already making it clear that if he runs again in 2024, Harris will be his running mate. The two served as strong pillars behind President Biden, constantly standing and applauding his speech. However, Twitter began talking about them, asking an important question along the way. Namely, when will a woman finally deliver the State of the Union address? Author Miles Taylor tweeted, Two women standing behind the president looks cool. A woman at the podium would look even cooler. Another Twitter user responded, That day will come. Progress has been agonizingly slow, but inching forward. Now, more than ever, it appears as though Americans are ready for a woman to become president. The Los Angeles Times reported that not only are the majority of Americans on board with electing a woman as president, but they may also prefer it. Now, Twitter is wondering how long Americans will have to wait to see this hope come to fruition. But Twitter users took to the social media platform to voice their opinions on several other aspects of the State of the Union address as well. At one point during President Joe Biden's speech, he accidentally said Iranians instead of Ukrainians when speaking about the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Putin may circle Kyiv with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. Even the House Judiciary GOP account remarked on the slip-up, tweeting, The Iranians? Conservative commenter Katie Pavlich tweeted, Biden just called the Ukrainians Iranians, the only mention Iran will get in this speech, and it was by mistake. Another uncomfortable moment from President Biden's State of the Union address came when Republican Representative Lauren Boebert began heckling him, yelling out that he had put 13 American troops in coffins. At another point in the speech, Boebert, along with Republican Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, began chanting, Build the Wall. Fred Gutenberg is a gun safety activist and the father of a girl killed at the mass shooting in Parkland, Florida. He was removed after his public outburst during a State of the Union address given by former President Donald Trump in 2020. After watching Representative Boebert's outburst during President Biden's State of the Union, Gutenberg tweeted, Two years ago, I yelled out, what about victims of gun violence like my daughters at State of the Union? I did it for gun violence victims and spent most of the night in jail. Why was Boebert not removed and spending her night in jail? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.